Hi everyone, this is Asma Mushtaq from the WYS and in this video lecture I am going to solve the end problem 4.5 from the digital logic design where you have to design an in a combinational circuit and the condition is when the inputs are 0, 1, 2 and 3 so when the inputs are 0, 1, 2 and 3 then the output should be 1 greater than the input so 0 plus 1 becomes 1 1 plus 1, 2 2 plus 1, 3 and 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Let's just fill the table accordingly. So when the input is 0, you will have the binary equivalent of 1 which is 0, 0 and 1. Then 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0 and 0. Fine. And when the input is 4, 5, 6 and 7, then the binary output is 1, 2 less than the input. So for the 4, 5, 6 and 7, the output should be 2, 3, then 4 and 5. Okay, so you, for the 4, uh, you will have to write the binary equivalent of 2, which is 0, 1, 0. And then 0, 1, 1, 3, 1, 0, 0, 4, 4. And then the last is 1, 0, 1, 5. Once you have written or filled the table, the next step is to write the expression for each output variable as a function of the input. So we will do the K map. We have to draw the K map. And here we will be using the variable k map. All right. Okay, so let's first determine the expression uh, for the output variable a. Here you will write x and it can vary from 0 to 1 while here you will have to write y and z these values can vary from 0 0 to 0 1 then 1 0 to 1 1 fine okay let's see where a is equal to 1 so a is 1 for the binary combination of this and the last two terms Okay, so when x is 0 and y and z both are equal to 1, so when x is 0, y and z both are equal to 1, so you will place 1 over here. When x is 1 and y and z are 1, 0, so you will place 1 right here and then when both all variables are equal to 1. Fine. And then you have to combine the terms. So for the output function a, the expression will be, let's just write the expression for the min term combines vertically and you will get y and z because both variables are equal to 1, 1 in this case. And for writing the min terms combined horizontally, you will have to write 1, uh, sorry, x because x is equal to 1 while y and z are over here so we will write the that variable which is not changing so here y is not changed fine so in this way you found the expression for the output variable a similarly let's draw the k map for the output variable b so here you can see that i have placed the mean terms for the output variable c and c now let's just write the expression for them First, we will combine these two main terms as they are in the consecutive boxes. Okay. And then I can combine these terms and this last one will be written as it is. Why? Because uh, it has no adjacent box where we should combine it. So, first write the expression for this horizontal combination. It becomes 
x and then since y is not varying so y complement and as it was zero that's why the prime appear similarly the next is to write for this combination and here you will have y complement and z and the last term is actually x complement y z complement for this single min term now let's just join these two min terms for determining determining the expression for the c which becomes x and z then plus we can combine these two boxes so here you will have x complement and then z complement fine the last step is to draw the logical diagram for this particular circuitry so let's see okay, so here you can see i have placed three variables x y z and i have placed the inverter or the node gate before them just to producing their complement the first step is to find the expression for a which is x y and y z so i have to take x and i have to take y and i need to and then see then i have to take y so i will take y from here and then i have to take z and i need to produce the and from here all right and ultimately you will or them so this is how a is produced the next step is x y complement so you will take x from here you can take y complement from here and just and them then y complement z since this is the y complement and here you are having z so you will and them the next or the last term is x complement y z complement so the x complement has not been forwarded so far let's just do it with the different color so i'll take the x complement then y and the last one is the z complement since we are having z complement from here so we will just interconnect them and combine them with the and gate the last step is to or them this is how b is produced and for producing the output uh, expression for the sorry diagram for the c you have to take x and z so here is x from here you can take z you can and both of them then x complement and z complement this is the x complement so i will just take from here and then here you will have the z complement so z complement can be taken out from here and you just need to or them again and you can see the logic diagram for this circuit has been drawn as well thank you for watching